Few things have had a meteoric rise in popularity like Moldavite. At one time it was readily available and quite affordable, but what happened? What is Moldavite? How did it form? Why is it so expensive and how do you spot fakes? We'll discuss these questions and more today. But first, I am super excited for this coming month's Mooney Fine Mineral of the Month Club. Not only are people going to get three variations of this month's mineral to enjoy, one of those is something that people have been practically begging me for. Your first hint is aluminum. Please like, comment, and subscribe wherever you are watching to make sure that you see the next hint. And for $10 a month plus shipping, you can take part in the Mooney Fine Mineral of the Month Club. Links will be in the pinned comment, bio, or description. Let's begin. What is Moldavite? Moldavite is a variety of tektite. Molten glass ejecta from a meteor impact that occurred an estimated 15 million years ago. The raw heat and kinetic energy of the meteor impact turning parts of the surrounding impact sites into little droplets of glass. These glass droplets hardened and became the beautiful green you see today. There are several different varieties of tektite, but Moldavite is the one that has gotten the most attention over the years. It's found in the Czech Republic and is named after the Moldu River. This beautiful green gem could once be found for just a few dollars, but is now often seen well over a hundred dollars a gram. But this brings us to our next point, why is it so expensive? There are several factors all pressing in on the price. We've already touched on one, it's from a one-time meteor impact. There is no more being produced on the earth today. So the supply is becoming increasingly more limited. If a meteor struck the Czech Republic again today, it wouldn't create Moldavite. The geology has changed greatly over the last 15 million years. However, the largest economic pressures on this particular market began with the perfect storm of the social media platform, the COVID-19 pandemic, and a rise in neo-paganism and crystal therapy. A few years ago, videos began circulating around TikTok proclaiming that owning a piece of Moldavite would remove any negative thing from your life that needed to be removed." End quote. Now, this spread far beyond TikTok, but in the midst of the uncertainty that 2019 and 2020 created, intense demand hit the Moldavite market. That demand hasn't particularly decreased, and to this day you'll still occasionally see a video along the lines of, my husband didn't take out the trash within 0.34 seconds of getting home from working a double overtime, so I bought a piece of Moldavite and he was hit by a bus. It works! Okay, that was a bit hyperbolic, but you get the point. An already strained supply had untenable demand. To complicate matters, much of the real Moldavite hitting the market today is the result of illegal mining. So is the bubble going to burst? I don't know. But probably not anytime soon. Now with anything popular and expensive, fakes have become a large share of the market. But if you know what to look for, they are easy to spot, so here are three quick tips for spotting fake Moldavite. Number 1. Color. Real Moldavite is a dark green until it's backlit, so if it looks like Mountain Dew or Ninja Turtle pee, it's probably fake. Number 2. Luster. Real Moldavite has a dull luster. If it's shiny and looks like bottle glass, it's probably fake. And number three, this is the big one, inclusions. Real Moldavite will have bubbles and what looks like wiry strands running through it. If there are zero inclusions and the stone looks perfect, it's probably fake. So what's a good alternative? If you want a tektite specimen but you don't really want to sell a kidney, I get it. I'm a huge fan of Libyan Desert Glass, a tektite with beautiful citrus or honey colors. So let me know in the comments what you think about Moldavite. Is it overhyped? And if you want to support the channel, then check out my website MooneyFineMineral.com or join the Mooney Fine Mineral of the Month Club so I can bring you even more content. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next video.